heck of a shot by Scoot to open things up. Uh, well done by, by Dundee and Angus to move this fight downfield into their opponent's half. And the shot from Scoot is through the defense. Threads the needle. First goal, Dundee and Angus. Threads that one through. Uh, big mistake on the back line for Dundee and Angus after that epic start. But look at Spiteful gets it off the ricochet and takes the lead straight back for Clay Thomas. Same. Spiteful's touch into the middle is good. Oh, same way. Shot is beautiful off of the crossbar and in. Uh, and in that one, sort of similar situation. And then just having a wide open net. And look at that from Octave, just handily dealing with this defense. Well played up by his teammates. Uh, and then just no defense. He's able to squeeze that one through. Dundee and Angus, he's been moving everyone downfield. And <laughs> shots like that is proving his worth on this team. Why they should have gone 0-3 yesterday but it's the teammates around them who have just not been performing at the highest level, and that's why the game's sort of run away from them, but what a shot there from Scoot. G with a good save to keep this all square. Two minutes left on the clock as Mason clears downfield. It is an open net. The red team have overextended. Oh and he, Mason squeezes that one inside the near post for the lead. Yeah, exactly. Overextension by Clay Comets. All in that right hand. Gamzy finding the clear, finding Mason in space on the right wing. It's going to come down off of the sideboard, and that's a beautiful read from Gamzy to put this at 3-1. <clears throat> if you're uh, going against Clay Comets, but you've taken every single member out of it and just dominated from the front, and Gamzy is slowly becoming the player to watch in this matchup. Brilliant pass in to set it up for Masson. And Jamsey just here to make the play, keep it down in the red half of the field. But they've done a brilliant job to get this one back up the other end and done a brilliant job to get it to Octave to tie the game. In the game, more and more of your... What a oh, goal there. And you, you have to feel for the keeper because she has very nearly saved that. But the passing play here, three-man Jamsey. To Mason, sorry, two man, one, two, back to Jamsey in the mid, and then a and... out to the right hand side. Marky Buda taking a touch before collecting some boosts and getting it clear, and that one might drift all the way in, and it has 2 0 to the team in blue. Oh, you really have to be reading those ones. I mean, Marky will just happily take that off the wall and have a pot shot towards net, but Digi I very timid on that back lane. I think Edinburgh are going to be peppering him. But look at this wide open net. Where did the defense go for Edinburgh? How's that happened? Marky Dudar getting bumped by Junior Welder, but managing to recover and Welder doing enough to put that one in the back of the net. Jamsey now trying to get this one mid. Digi is perfectly positioned to receive that one. It's off of the ceiling. Jamsey with a decent touch into the corner. Junior Welder can't get there. It's in front of the net and it's in Jamsey to take the lead for fourth valley demo but then immediately suffering the same fate as the ball comes down jamsy into possession it's a lovely pass to the left mason with the shot and it's in what a way to come back the boys in red have done it gets bumped out of position as jamsy taking the ball taking the boost and getting the pass back to mason and then turning into perfect position to collect this once more guiding it around the corner it's in front of the net he just they needs are. to do it all himself and he has the jammiest goal of the series so far from Jamsey himself. 1-1 is the series score. Heck, relieving that, giving himself uh, and his team some breathing room and finding oh, the second goal of the, uh, of the game there, Jack. Well played by Welder on the back line to keep this one at bay. Jack looking oh, into the oh, air, but I can't believe he's kept that one out. Jamsey with oh, a phenomenal oh, save. Either way, Jamsey really should have been the one to score that one, uh, and it was just offered up on a silver platter. <laughs> Put the quash down, and look at Mark just open up, and he is feasting that Valley happened to really just start them out, because you see when uh, Fourth Valley get the ball into their possession and start going go downfield, they have no boost to work with. Mason's car, but Digi I can break downfield. The pass to Jamsey is good. Mason's there, and what a team play. What a goal. This is the kind of standard that I expected from Fourth Valley, and where has it been? This is the positioning 
play from Mason that we were wanting to see. He gets it right on his card. Beautiful pass and beautiful shot as well. And look at Jamsy bringing it back into contention. Dunks the man on the left-hand side. We're a goal apart now. Keep it out. He's playing possession again and tries to break down field. Marky Duda with the shot. It's over the deep. What a save from oh. UGI to keep this one out. Still on three, two. Again, it's off of the ceiling. It's in front of the net. Mason looking for a disruption. Did he step? But Marky Duda with a phenomenal save. And somehow, after 60 seconds here in game five, we are all square. And, and that's a big it's step. Not, it's right. not Mason. Shut it. And they're in the lead. Fourth Valley Gaming. Ooh, as Marky almost gets a double tap off the backboard, it is very aggressive from poor Valley, but Jam's <laughs> able to slow things down enough. Mason now coming up to make the most of that demolition. Jamsy Zed on target and it's dropped oh. under the crossbar and another disruption play leads to a goal for Fort Valley. Back towards Blue Happy hit out on the field and Marky able to make an easy enough save and no one is there on the back line. And after a... I think that may have clipped off the post and gone in, or at least given Fort Valley a chance to make the play. But look at this pass in from Jamsy to Mason! The duel of Fort Valley strike once again. And with 36 seconds to go, they have tied it up and they are still in this grand final. Higher Championship, they have won the Scottish College Cup. Yeah, congratulations to Edinburgh College, but that was just a big mistake by Fort Valley at the end there. They know they need to make the save. They know they need to, need to make the play up field, but they just leave their back line open and Edinburgh just pounce on it like hungry wolves. And they are your champions after a grueling two days of competition.